listen to my live stream on Thursday morning, August 30th, 2018, you will have heard me tell about a $5 sewing machine that I saw at the thrift store. Now, this is a church-run thrift store, and they check things out pretty good. And here it is. I went back to get it. I debated, and I'm going to show you the front of it here. It's a Singer Stylus 534. And it does have some pattern selections here. Looks like a zigzag stitch, maybe a whip stitch, and a, a little bit more of a zigzag stitch, more closer together. And, of course, the straight stitches. It looks like it has about five different stitches on it, which is okay. I just want it for to stitch on paper. It has the thread tension here, a flexus stitch there, and a needle position here to where your needle's kind of in the center or off to the left or right. They've got a button holer over here, which is nice. So it's got the buttonhole stitch over here. I'm not totally sure about what that is all about. And, of course, up here is where you wind your bobbin. I'm going to go online and see what I can find for a manual. It's a stylus, Singer Stylus 534. The bobbin is just a, one of those little round little round bobbins right there so i'm going to test this out i haven't plugged it in i'm taking their word for it but for five dollars to stitch on paper yeah so i'm going to set this aside i just wanted to show it to you i think if it stitches on paper even with the straight stitch or even the wide zigzag I'll be a happy camper. That's all I want it for. However, you know when Mary goes to a thrift store, she doesn't just settle for one item. I also found a doll craft magazine. Doll crafter. This is a 1992. I paid a dollar for it, which is a little bit more expensive, but I like it. I love the patterns in here, the dolls in here. Now it is stapled together. And I'm thinking that I am going to do reverse collage in this. At least in part of it. Some of it I'm not ready. Like, look, look they've got a pattern here for Victorian Gibson girl dress. But I'm really not a doll maker, but I can't see painting this out. I'll, I'll have to decide. I might just do some art in there. But here, I'm going to leave these big big maybe i'll paint out the you know leave her name paint out sh everything except for sugar and spice and everything nice that's what ginger is made of maybe i'll do that one right now
Okay, my page is dry. I am really happy with this. Now, I do think I'm going to have to reinforce some of these pages as I get into it, but I'll do that as it happens, as it needs it. Here's the other one that I did. I love this page. I love the bronze with the black here and how it goes with this doll. I may put a big quote here. I'm not sure what how I'm going to finish it off art-wise, but I'll... I'll decide that as I go along. Right now, I'm just going to do reverse collage. This will be an altered magazine art journal. And I'm just going to work on these as I get inspired. I get inspired by different things. I was at the thrift store today, and I found this. Look at that. This is going to make a wonderful, wonderful altered art page. So I'm working in that. Now, the other thing that I want to do is I found these wooden shapes at Hobby Lobby. I went to the State Fair the day before yesterday, and I found these wooden shapes at Hobby Lobby. Let's pull the label off. They weren't very expensive. I think this one cost me $2, and this one cost me a dollar, something like that, maybe $0.99. Cents. It was not expensive. And I was thinking they would make really fun stamps on the jelly plate for my painty papers. You stamp it like this, maybe, and like this. So, you know how I'm doing that tree, and this will make a nice mask area. However, because they're wood, I'm going to gesso them out because I know this wood will drink my craft paint. So I have some gesso here, and I'm just going to gesso these out. Okay, I have primed the front and back of these wooden shapes. I'm going to use them when I do some jelly printing. I might do a couple prints off of these in my live tomorrow night just to see how they go. I'm going to set them aside. The other thing that I want to do is refill my glue pot. Yes, I can't do much glue booking with an empty glue pot. So I have been using this Elmer's glue no run washable <laughs> gallon size container and I fill this about just about three-fourths of the way through let's get this off and I mix it three parts glue to just a little less than one part of water that glue is just a little bit too thick for my purposes. One more here. There we go. Yes, a big gallon bottle of Elmer's glue. I got this, I believe, for $11 at Walmart last year. I think they're up to like $14 this year or so. Might watch for them coming on sale. And <laughs> my glue stick. I love this glue stick. I've had it for years. And it just keeps adding a layer of glue on it. But I'm going to use that to stir my glue as I mix some water into this. And this is where you just kind of have to judge the consistency of it. You don't want it too watery and you don't want it too thick. In fact, that might just be enough water. Stir it up really good. I don't think I will add any more water to that. I think that's just fine. It just thins it down a little. There we go. So I have my glue pot filled. Now I was watching a channel several months ago and I don't know who it was, 
but she took one day and did a, what she called a studio day. She refilled her glue pots. She made sure she had paint. She jessled anything that needed jessled. She just got things generally ready to use so that she would have it when she wanted it. So thank you for watching, and I will see you tomorrow morning.